Welcome to Stay Fit and Travel. So today we're continuing with this 10 minutes workout series. So far we have done 10 minutes abs, 10 minutes full body hit workout. I'll link them up to this icon with an eye. I forgot which side it was. But check them out if you haven't yet. So now I figure it's time to do some legs. I know that a lot of people are not a big fan of leg dates. But I myself have always liked them. I guess it's because when I first started this whole fitness journey, even though my whole body was really unfit and weak, but I guess my lower body back then was still a tiny bit stronger than my upper body. So I guess people like to do what they're better at, and therefore leg days have always been my favorite. So one of my fitness goals have always been to be able to get toned legs, especially around the thigh area, and to lose the cellulite. I used to have a ton around my butt area. Leg exercises definitely help. I'll be the first one to admit that I don't have a big booty, as you have seen on my Instagram photos. Sadly, I'm genetically unblessed when it comes to booty. Even just a year ago, honestly, there was like nothing there. But I do believe that with hard work and training on my legs and glutes, there have been progresses. Remember that slow progress is still better than no progress. The main reason I make these videos is because I think that a short workout is always better than a no workout. So if you're really busy or if you're traveling and you still want to squeeze in a short workout with no equipment required, then you can do this workout with me. All you need is a mat and also an elevated surface, for example, a bench or a low chair. Grab your mat and let's go! So no matter where you are doing this workout, at home, in the gym, or in a park, all you need is a bench. So find somewhere with an elevated surface and you're good to go. Let's start with crossover reverse lunge with pauses. It is back lunge but stepping back to the opposite side. This works your whole leg, your hamstring, quads, and most importantly, your glute. First, take a large step backward with one leg crossing it behind your front foot. Lower your back knee toward the floor while keeping your front shin perpendicular to the floor. Here, I am adding a pause but if you feel like it's too much for your legs, you can take it away. Keeping your back straight and your chest up, push yourself back up to standing. Alternate with the other side and repeat the same motion. Next one, legs windmill. It really works the glutes, hamstring, core, including balance. Start from a kneeling position on all fours with knees about shoulder width apart and hands right below your shoulders. Shaken one leg out to the side or at around a 45 degree angle so the tips of your toes are touching the ground. Keeping your core tight, lift your straight leg up and around like a windmill behind you. Touch your toes on the other side behind you to complete the circle. Then bring your foot back to the starting position. That's one rep on one side. Do one side for 30 seconds, then the other side for another 30 seconds. Hip thrust, one of the best exercises for glute. Studies have shown that it is more effective to build your booty than a traditional squat. Start with your shoulder blades against a bench and your arms spread across it for stability. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor, squeeze your glutes, lift up your hips so your knees are 90 degrees to the floor and here remember to hold a second or two and continue to squeeze your butt. This will activate and work your glute muscles. Make sure your neck stays neutral as you lift yourself off the floor. Don't let your head drop back.
box jump or a step up. Box jump can be a little bit intimidating for those of you who have never done before, but once you conquer that fear, I guarantee you it's one of the most fun leg exercises and it's definitely my favorite. But safety first, make sure you're jumping onto a stable surface with manageable height. First, stand in front of the bench with feet directly under the hips and hands by your side. Lower yourself into the jumping position by bending at the knees and hips. Keep your head up and back straight. Explosively jump up to the bench while swinging the arms. Stand tall. Step down to return to the starting position and repeat the movement. If this is too challenging, you can choose to do step up. To start, place your entire right foot onto the bench. Press through your right heel as you step onto the bench. Bring your left foot up so you're standing on the bench. Return to the starting position by stepping down with the right foot. Then the left so both feet are on the floor. Then switch up the side by stepping with left leg up first, followed by right leg. Then left leg down and right leg. Repeat this for one minute. Single lip hip thrust. Another exercise that really targets the glute. It is actually very similar to hip thrust, but because it's single leg, it will work each side of your glute even more. First, lay on bench with one leg extended and one leg bent. Push your body up with a bent leg and hold the position for 1 to 2 seconds while squeezing your glutes hard in the up position. Do one side for 30 seconds and then switch. We are halfway through. Next one is Bulgarian split squat. It works mainly your quads and glutes. First, stand with your back facing the bench. Reach one foot back and place the top of the foot on the box. Lower your back knee down towards the ground by bending your front leg. Once you go as low as you can, push through the grounded foot to return to the top of the movement. Repeat this for 30 seconds then switch leg. Let's move on to fire hydrant. Start on all fours, knees directly under your hips and hands directly below your shoulders. Keeping your knees bent, raise one leg out to the side until your side is parallel to the floor. Then lower your leg back to starting position. Do it for 30 seconds, then switch legs. Side lunges. This work your thigh, your hip, again basically your whole leg. Sandwich your feet shoulder width apart, place hands together in front of your chest. Tighten abs, take a big side step to your right with your right foot. Shift your weight towards your right leg. This makes your knee slightly bent and the other leg fully extended. Press back up by extending your right leg and hip. That's one rep. Then repeat the same motion with another side. Keep switching side for every rep and do it for 60 seconds.
in and out jump squats. We will be doing a sumo squat stance in this exercise and you can see my feet are wider than a normal squat. Plant both feet together on the floor. Bend your knees and then jump upward into the air before landing in sumo squat position. Continue bending your knees until your upper legs are parallel with the floor. Then jump up into the air again before landing in a neutral standing position. Feet together, bend your knees until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Then jump up and down back to sumo squat position. Repeat this for one minute. Guys, this is really, really, really hard. I'm actually putting this worst one towards the end so you won't quit on me too early on. You'll see me totally guessing out after this exercise. Okay, so we all died from those jump squats, but we gotta finish this up. Only one exercise left. Donkey kick. Get down on all fours, hands and knees on the mat. Position your hands below your shoulders, ensure that your knees and hips are aligned. Squeeze your butt, lift up your left leg while keeping the knees bent so that the thigh is parallel to the floor. Make sure the foot is pointing towards the ceiling. Then come back to the original position and repeat it for 30 seconds and switch legs. This is the last exercise, so push it through. I know I said it was the last one, but you can add a few donkey kick pulses to each side to finish up this workout. But only do it if you feel like it. So don't say I lied to you that this workout is 10 minutes. This is totally optional. Okay guys, we're finally done. I'm dying right now. Normally this workout won't get you as out of breath or as sweaty, but because I chose to do it downstairs in my home outdoor, and it's really hot and humid in Hong Kong right now, so I'm totally dying. My sweat was like dripping all over the mat, but it's a good workout and my legs are totally burning right now. So good job guys, we made it to here together with me. Hope you enjoyed this workout, give me a thumbs up so more people can do this workout. If you like my workout video so far, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss another workout again. See you guys next week! I don't know if you can see but my brows are still a little bit weird. It's been a week since I did my brows tattoo. Today they're looking a bit better than my previous videos even though it's still scabbing a little bit. But I just thought it's time for me to get rid of my cap, at least for this intro.